Good evening, I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for being with us. We begin tonight with some frightening moments at a nonprofit organization that provides addiction recovery programs in Sarasota. A group of residents were taken to the hospital after overdosing on a mind-altering drug. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo tells us new information about that incident. Sorry about that. We're having trouble with that story. We'll have uh, try to get to that a little bit later in the newscast. Facility in Sarasota, trying to record what they heard were drug overdoses. According to the facility, eight residents ingested a drug they believe to be GHB, commonly referred to as a club drug. One person who wanted to remain anonymous says her daughter was one of the victims. I just received a call at about 10:30 last night on her emergency contact that she. There had been an incident. Some of the clients there were passing something around. Um, they took big swigs of it and they just started dropping. All of the victims, including her daughter, were taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital to receive treatment. According to the Sarasota Sheriff's Office, all eight quickly became ill, were transported, treated, and released. But the victim's mom says this is something that has happened here before. They go to outside meetings there. They go do activities out in the community. So things can very easily be brought in if everybody's not, you know, done a search. In a statement, the facility saying First Step began an immediate investigation into the incident, which continued throughout the night and is still ongoing. We are fully engaged with law enforcement in their investigation to find the person or persons responsible. For the mother who now has to take her daughter out of the program, she stresses that more than one agency has to step up to prevent this from happening again. The community needs to get together um, from all different aspects um, and we need to put more of a face on this disease of addiction um, and really work together as a community to find some answers. Now she also mentioned that she now has to take her daughter to another facility for rehabilitation. It's also her second offense at the facility and now has to be discharged. As for the incident, the sheriff's office is still investigating. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News. Dwayne, thank you. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and Suncoast schools are using it to figure out how to provide better mental health resources to its students. Manatee and Sarasota County Schools each given around $1 million to add additional mental health resources. This is all part of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Safety Act. In Manatee County, the district plans to recruit additional psychologists and social workers to expand the team that's already in place. The district will also be hiring a company called Motivational Coaches of America. That means emotional and social coaches will be in each school to provide both group and individual counseling sessions. So students don't have to miss classes uh, so that when a teacher recognizes that there are some signs of some emotional stress or social anxiety that we'll have those professional resources available uh, where they're needed most and that is in, in the schools where those children are spending a majority of their time. Coming up at 6, how Sarasota County Schools plan to spend their mental health funding. A second lawsuit has now been filed over the mass school shooting in Parkland. The father of a shooting victim filing the most recent wrongful death lawsuit. In it, Andrew Pollack names several defendants, including confessed gunman Nicholas Cruz and former Broward County Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson. Peterson was the school resource officer who has been harshly criticized for not going into the school when he heard gunshots to confront the shooter. Meanwhile, the brother of the man behind the Parkland school massacre is in trouble with the law once again. 18-year-old Zachary Cruz was re-arrested today. Authorities say he violated his probation last month for driving without a license and also being near a school that he wasn't enrolled in. Just a little over a month ago, or after the shooting rather, Cruz was arrested for trespassing on the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School's campus. He's been ordered to now wear a tracking monitor and stay a mile away from the school. Tonight we have new details on an overnight shooting in the Newtown community of Sarasota that sent one man to the hospital. Sarasota police say two men got into an argument and shots were fired inside a home on 19th Street. Police arrived at the scene around 3 o'clock in the morning. Police say the victim and the shooter know each other. The victim is now in the hospital and is expected to survive. 
Police have not released the victim's name and have not made any arrest yet in this case. As soon as we learned of that shooting, we let our ABC 7 viewers know with an alert on their smartphone. You can sign up to get notifications and breaking news by downloading the app. Find it by searching for the words WWSB or My Suncoast in your app store. All right, well, time to check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. We are halfway through the work week. Bob, what can we expect for the next few days? Well, the biggest problem right now that we're dealing with uh, is the high fire danger that exists here along the Sun Coast. We're going to take a look at some of the numbers that are showing up right now. Uh, there may be some relief in sight, though, as we move on in through the weekend. It's 88 degrees right now. We have uh, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds around. The humidity is what's so low. It's at 36 percent. And with the east northeast wind, if any fires were to start, they would fly, uh, actually cause those to uh, be a little bit stronger as far as those fire goes and spreading it. Now, pressure now 3014 is way up there. That continues to rise. High pressure now dominating the weather over the southeast United States. And what it's doing is it's keeping this low pressure kind of suppressed to our south and keeping this frontal boundary well to the west of us. But that high is going to break down a little bit as we approach the weekend and that low pressure area will start to move northward. Uh, right now we are expecting temperatures to stay pretty mild through the evening and warm at 71, but the humidity will stay low. I mentioned that low pressure. You can see the rotation and spin right here with a closed low moving off toward uh, the Bahamas, then eventually tracking to the north. We're going to be close enough to it that it will inject some moisture our way and we'll have a chance for some showers. Not until, though, we get through Friday. Now, as far as temperatures go, currently uh, the Gulf water temperature now at 77 and uh, temperatures into the mid 80s to upper 80s across the region. Mayaka City at 87. Same in Bradenton and in Sarasota. More on our rain chances for the weekend coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. Okay, Bob, we'll talk to you then. With the start of hurricane season now just weeks away, state regulators are already meeting with utility companies about their preparation plans. Today in Tallahassee, the Florida Public Service Commission heard from multiple utility companies. They discussed what worked well during and after Hurricane Irma, as well as what areas need improvements. Several companies say there needs to be better communication with customers. Doing the right work today will better protect the energy grid for years to come. So our customers expect and deserve power that stays on, and if there is an outage, power that comes back faster than before. One of the largest complaints of utility customers was a lack of communication following Irma about how long power restoration would take. The meeting will continue tomorrow. <laughs> Right now, bulldozer and heavy gear clearing the way for a brand new parking garage in downtown Bradenton. Crews are demolishing what used to be the home of the Manatee Chamber of Commerce. Chamber now operating out of a temporary office until the garage is completed. That $12 million facility will have nearly 400 parking spaces and it should be finished in about eight months. First, though, the old building has to come down. Yes. Still to come in your Suncoast News, a military cargo plan crashes near Savannah, Georgia, shortly after takeoff. Now, investigators want to know the cause. And dry conditions bring high fire danger to the Suncoast. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will tell us if there is any rain in sight. Plus, why new research is heating up the debate about when kids should start playing football. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. I was always worried and scared. Mom was in pain. She wasn't going to get any better, and all the trips to the ER were painful for all of us. Then we called Tidewell Hospice, and everything changed. Now she has care in our home when she needs it, surrounded by family. We know we don't have much time left with mom, but we decided to make the best out of that time. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. 
G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. When money's tight and emergencies arise, CashNetUSA.com is available 24-7 to deliver quick loans for approved customers when they need it the most. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNetUSA. All of a sudden we heard some kind of explosion. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast weekdays on ABC7. There are two alarm fires that our Marla Spence was called out on. Crews are still on scene. We're going to continue to work on this story and find out more on what caused this fire. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. A developing story now out of Savannah, Georgia, where authorities are investigating a deadly military plane crash. A United States C-130 cargo plane from the Puerto Rico Air National Guard crashed while performing a training mission late this morning. It went down near the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. At least five people were killed in that crash. The names will be released once family members are notified. A spokesman for the Puerto Rico National Guard says the plane was on its way to Arizona. There's been another scary incident involving a broken window on a Southwest Airlines flight. The plane was on its way to Newark from Chicago before being forced to land in Cleveland. ABC's Maggie Ruley shows us how that incident played out. Another mid-air scare for passengers on a Southwest Airlines flight. After discovering a crack in one of the plane's windows, the crew makes an unscheduled landing in Cleveland. And we're going to get you uh, taken care of. So once again, I need everyone to grab their belongings. Today's fright comes as fears over last month's deadly accident on a Southwest flight are still raw. When a failed engine hurled debris at the plane, cracking a window and killing one woman. The crew of that flight was applauded yesterday at the White House. Celebrating Captain Tammy Jo Schultz and the crew for safely landing and saving the lives of everyone else on board. In the wake of the incident, the FAA has now increased the number of engine fan blades that need to be inspected by tenfold. More than 3,700 aircraft will have to be inspected soon, and now much more often. Understand this is not a fix. It is trying to prevent it from happening again by inspecting it more often. The fix is yet to be determined. As for the plane involved in that deadly accident, it's already back in the air, flown to a Boeing facility outside Seattle with a replacement engine so all of the damage to the aircraft can be repaired. In a statement, Southwest Airlines said today's flight landed without incident and crews in Cleveland are working on the window. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. Well, if you have a pit bull, pug, or a mastiff, you won't be able to take them on a United Airlines flight much longer. The airline announcing new policies on which animals it will allow in its cargo hold. Among the newly banned breeds are short-nosed dogs like pugs and French bulldogs, which are prone to adverse health risks, along with pit bulls and mastiffs. And all animals aside from dogs and cats are also banned. A spokesperson says the American Humane Society helped come up with a list of banned breeds for, and it is for the safety and comfort of those animals. The changes will go into effect on June 18th. Hmm. All right. A uh, great day on the Sun Coast. Yes. But as you said, Bob, we're, we're, we're dry, we're warm, and, uh, you know, no rain in sight, at least for a few days. Huh? Yeah, and, and this is the big time for fires. Obviously, right. this is the fire season, and it can get pretty rough going. You know, interstates yeah. close sometimes, and neighborhoods are threatened at times, so this is a time to watch it. There's some uh, relief possibly in sight uh, over the weekend, but sometimes these thunderstorms can bring fires as well, yeah. especially during this time of year. So here is a look at the dry conditions. Anna Maria webcam showing uh, pretty calm conditions out on the waters again today. It's been a beautiful weekend. Uh, we had a great weekend, so things have been really progressing quite 
quite nicely here. Temperatures are still warm in the afternoon, but the low humidity has been what's so nice. This is the drought status now again uh, coming from the uh, National Climatic Data Center. Abnormally dry. That's the scale right now, and you can see it covers half of Manatee County, all of Sarasota County, and into Charlotte County, as well as our interior counties. Uh, that is, again, abnormally dry. It's not in the severe or extreme range right now, but as far as weather conditions go with the low humidity and lots of sunshine throughout most of the day, these numbers continue to go higher and higher each day. And you'll notice the 561 there in Sarasota County and Charlotte County uh, now at 573. And it looks like uh, we, again, will see those numbers go higher and higher. As a result of this, the water vapor imagery showing just a tremendous amount of dry air in place. A lot of moisture bottled up down to our southeast. We're going to tap into some of that over the weekend. So our rain chances will be elevated somewhat. Not nearly as high as we'd like to see them, but nonetheless, they will be around. And it looks as though we will see uh, a slight chance for showers again uh, coming in on the uh, day on Saturday and Sunday. Titan radar picture showing some showers down to our south already. Uh, that's a little line of low pressure. It's uh, going to eventually close itself off and we will see a closed low 88 degrees right now and we have 58 degrees on the dew point. Uh, the humidity, look at that, 36% an east northeast wind at 16 and the pressure continues to remain high. Here's a look now at what's going to be happening. Uh, there's that low. You can see it's spinning right there. Rather impressive looking spin. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. There's a chance it could develop into something uh, down the road. It looks like more so over the weekend. A lot of rainfall from the southern Bahamas, central Bahamas to the northern Bahamas. So if you have a trip planned there this weekend, it could be a little wet, especially on Saturday as it moves off to the northwest. Now, temperatures currently along the beaches, Cortez at 85, Whitney Beach 84, Longboat Key, you're at 84. A little bit warmer away from that sea breeze and away from the water with the water temperature now at uh, 77, 87 in Palm Air, water leaf at 77 and Laurel Oak, the same, 87 degrees, I should say, 87 in Southgate, and uh, temperature 86 in Plantation, Northport at 86 degrees. Well, the big picture, the big story, uh, I don't know if you've seen it on social media and the uh, television news, but there's been some big storms firing up into Kansas and tornadoes there. Another round of severe weather developing as a result of that warm, moist air coming in around that area of high pressure, which is dominating our weather right into the central U.S. There's a big contrast in temperatures there, too. That's where the front lies. 81 in Kansas City and Denver, 53. Uh, 74 in Chicago, 77 in Cleveland, and 84 in Atlanta. For us, the high pressure shifts off to the east. It weakens, too, as this front comes uh, to the southeast. It's not going to have much of a chance of getting through us, but we'll have to keep an eye on this additional moisture. Quite a bit of it down to our south and east. Uh, showing uh, if it were to develop into something, it wouldn't be all that significant at this point. But one thing it will do is benefit us, possibly bringing us a little bit more rain chance on Saturday and Sunday. Well, it's uh, east winds to start the morning off at 15 knots. Then we'll go to northeast winds in the midday, 5 to 10 knots, changing to the north later on in the day at 2 to 3 foot seas out there and a moderate chop. So keep that in mind if you're boating. And here's the forecast. So dry again Thursday, high fire danger exists as well as on Friday. A chance for showers and storms will still have that high fire danger because they could we could see some lightning strikes and a lot of times that ignites the fires and starts them out. And then the uh, trough of low pressure will kind of hang around uh, on into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, bringing with it a slight chance for a few showers and a few scattered thunderstorms. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Now let's check for solar traffic. North and southbound lanes of South Tamiami Trail slow going tonight. This is uh, just past the intersection with Bee Ridge Road in Sarasota. Jacqueline. In Scott and Health News tonight, new research shows that playing youth tackle football is linked to earlier symptoms of the degenerative brain disease CTE. Kim Hutcherson tells us how the popular sport can lead to cognitive problems later in life. Playing tackle football at a young age could lead to cognitive and emotional problems earlier in life. That's according to a new study published in the Annals of Neurology. Researchers studied the brains of nearly 250 football players. 211 of them were diagnosed with a degenerative brain disease, CTE, after death. They found that those who started playing football before age 12 showed symptoms of brain disease earlier than those who got a later start. Playing professional football has previously been linked to CTE, which often starts after repeated head trauma. But this new research looks at what happens to kids who start the sport early. Researchers found that those who played tackle football as children and were later diagnosed with CTE suffered from cognitive impairment and mood swings much earlier in their lives. That means they experienced problems with memory, planning, organizing, and struggled with depression and aggression by an average of 13 years earlier, according to the study. 
I'm Kim Hutchison reporting. We are now learning of the first death from an E. coli outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says one person died in California. More than 120 cases of E. coli linked to romaine lettuce have been reported in 25 states since that outbreak began in March. Officials say it appears the lettuce is grown in the Yuma, Arizona area. The CDC reminds the public not to serve, sell, or eat such lettuce. E. coli causes severe stomach cramps, diarrhea, and vomiting. Some cases can be life-threatening as victims, victims may develop a form of kidney failure. A million people are wanted, willing to share their DNA and 10 years of health habits, all for science. On Sunday, the U.S. government will open nationwide enrollment for an ambitious experiment. Researchers plan to compare the genetics, lifestyles, and environments of people from all walks of life to learn why some people get sick and others don't, and also better ways to customize and prevent and treat diseases. But it all depends on whether enough people will sign up for this experiment. Stress can affect your mood and often your eating choices, but can long-term stress actually make us gain weight? A recent study says probably so. Researchers looked at possible connections between cortisol and body weight. Cortisol is a hormone that your body releases when you're feeling physical or psychological stress. The results show a connection between the stress hormone and being overweight. Experts say more research is needed to better understand why the two may be linked. Coming up, a family's backyard turned boneyard. The incredible discovery you don't want to miss. Plus, a semi-truck's collision with a, a utility pole all caught on camera. The driver's excuse for that crash. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. Sarasota's only area rug superstore. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blog, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. Amazing video out of Massachusetts tonight. That's where this big rig driver right here blames a bird for what's about to happen. Dashcam video shows a tanker hauling 12,000 gallons of gasoline swerve 
and then take down a utility pole right there. The 63 year old driver says a bird flew into his truck, but police don't believe that story. They're still investigating and the driver is now facing reckless driving charges. Utility companies have since repaired the damage. And check out this scary scene out of Kansas. It shows a possible tornado touching down. A news crew was tracking a storm system in the area when the likely twister formed. This was one of a dozen possible tornadoes reported in Kansas just yesterday. A Utah family makes a shocking discovery in their backyard. A landscaping project led them to find the fossil of an ancient ice age animal. This is a rare skeleton of an ancient horse. Paleontologists believe it's some type of ancient Shetland pony but they don't know how it got there. They say it has to be about 16,000 years old. Oh Only the head is missing, and experts say the horse was covered quickly because the bones are perfectly intact. Now it's a piece of ancient history for everyone to enjoy. That is pretty neat, yeah. and what a find to find in your backyard. I know. Well, still to come in on your Suncoast News, today kicks off the start of mosquito season, how you can avoid the pesky bugs, and some tips to protect yourself from diseases. Plus, the city of Venice wants to expand its emergency services. We'll look at the city's plan and how much it will cost. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to CaliforniaClosets.com. CashNet USA is trusted by over 2 million customers. Perfect. When I lean back, I trust that you will be there to catch me. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. The ACLU wants answers from city leaders in Bradenton Beach. We'll tell you why they plan on being at a city meeting to talk about the Florida Sunshine Law. That's tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. John? Dry air is colored in tan here, and it's all over the state of Florida. So when will we see rain again? We'll talk about that coming up. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna go out there in the rain. You're gonna get wet. All right, here we go. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, oh yeah, yes. So much fun. Yeah, My name is Stephen Jaffe. Law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at nationalguard.com. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now, during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 15% when you upgrade to a premium finish. Schedule your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or go to californiaclosets.com.